Nice to meet you. It's been many times we've met yeah, through, the, through the years. What, uh, what is your point? Why are you bringing bills? Because they know the court order says you got to do it in the little box. I, uh, I was in the service and I took an oath yeah. to defend and uphold the Constitution, especially the First Amendment of the United States, which is the backbone of the Constitution. But the judge says that oh, yeah. if you're trying to influence jurors, well, we haven't really understood the free speech zone, but I really didn't feel any of that applied to us. I felt it more applied to the Casey Anthony people that were carrying signs and protesting. And, and I understand that you can't impede the flow of traffic. I'm all with the judge on that one. But then you can't limit people's uh, free speech rights to uh, professor ideas and uh, appeal and petition uh, the government. And what are you trying to say with your jury flyer? What are you well, trying to tell prospective jury? Uh, what I'm trying to do is only give them information. I'm not trying to tell them anything. And what is that information? And their right is not only are they allowed by law to judge the defendant, but they also have an obligation to judge the law if it's good or bad. So if they don't like, for instance, uh, a firearms law because they believe that the Second Amendment allows uniform rights to firearm possession, you would support them finding a not guilty verdict when the evidence and the law would say they're guilty? I would support the jury on them making the decision if the penalty fits the crime or not. And I personally believe it's everyone's right to own a firearm, and I don't think it's any of the government's business. What about things like marijuana possession? Is that one of the things that you think is over-criminalized? Uh, actually, I think it shouldn't be criminalized at all. It's There is no victim to this crime. As long as there's no victim, it's no crime. But the other issue is 40% of the people in federal prisons are non-violent, small-time drug users, and we're spending $600 billion on penal systems right now per year, and we're broke. We just can't afford it to have non-violent people in prison. You've already spent a few hours in jail because of this. Are you willing to spend six more months in jail? Well, I'm not going to say I'm ready to spend a few more months in jail, but I am ready to defend and uphold the Constitution, which I took an oath to do. Great. Um, I wouldn't understand what happened. Oh, nice. Today. They did not serve for uh, for the uh, for his first administrative order, and that was challenging the constitutionality of that. Uh, that's correct, but order. still, that doesn't really affect me the way my lawyer Adam uh, no, I understand Sudbury. that. I mean, this is a whole separate issue. Yeah, you can't really challenge the constitutionality of that order today, is what I understand. Well, uh, that's correct. The only thing that uh, we're challenging, if at all, is I didn't feel any of this would apply to me because free speech is free speech is free speech. No matter what the message is, we all have the right to petition the government on the courthouse steps. Are there any Supreme Court judges that have ruled on uh, jury nullification at all? Oh, many, very many of them. I, uh, I don't have them right here. I have them in my pamphlet, but there's an extreme number have uh, ruled. As a matter of fact, they, uh, just last year we had a judge uh, up in the 5th District Court in Daytona that ruled we're allowed to have uh, jury nullification papers uh, handed to the Perspective jurors. That was the Fifth Circuit in Ocala. Yes, uh, in Marion yeah. County. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's actually their tone too, but it's not the Fifth District Court of Appeal. Right. It's, it's that same circuit. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Well, great. Okay. Thank Thanks you for well. your See time, you and let's keep the Constitution. Make sure to report the.